In Ethiopia, the UN says the east and southern regions of the nation continue to bail under the impact of devastating drought. UN spokesperson Stefan Dujaric says some of these people are coping with the cholera outbreak. At least 1,100 cases have been recorded. We, along with our partners and the government, uh, launched an appeal for nearly $4 billion to reach more than 20 million people in Ethiopia this year with critical assistance, including food, nutrition support, health services, and other vital aid. In northern Ethiopia, the UN noted improvements in access to humanitarian aid after a deal to end hostilities by warring parties. Since mid-November, the global body says it has sent nearly 180,000 tons of food and other aid to Tigray, adding that more than 8.5 million people are now targeted for food assistance across Afar, Amhara and Tigray. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, clashes between the Congolese army and the M23 rebels continue in the east of the country, according to the United Nations. Dujaric says assisting people coping with Cyclone Freddy is a challenge. In Madagascar, we are also continuing to support the government to help people impacted by Tropical Cyclone Freddy. At least 226,000 people were impacted, including 150,000 who are in need of humanitarian assistance. The number of people displaced by the cyclone has increased to nearly 38,000, according to the authorities. Hundreds of schools have been damaged, as well as health centers. The UN Secretary General spokesperson also paid tribute to three soldiers from Senegal who died last week when their convoy was hit by explosive device. Ignatius Anno, VOA News, Washington. In motion, we know that Lukashenko met with the 